During DLA's financial audit, there is a well-defined process whereby requests and information flow between DLA and auditors. These rules of engagement govern all of DLA's interactions with the auditors. In this video, we'll hear from three former auditors who now work for DLA, who can explain what will be expected of DLA employees. Hi, my name is Shannon Beasley, and I used to be an auditor, but now I work for DLA J89 in New Cumberland for the plan to stock. My name is Maurice Jenkins, and I used to be an auditor. I now work for DLA in the J89 section and order the cash in Richmond, Virginia. Hi, my name is Bob Grant. I used to be an auditor, but now I work for J891 in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania for Plan to Stock. The Independent Public Accountant, or IPA, will typically spend a significant amount of time gaining an understanding of DLA's business operations and processes. The goal of the auditor is to gain their own assurance, uh, and they do that by a three-step process. One, they review our PCMs, our SOPs, our policies. Two, they do uh, interviews with individuals, and three, they do walkthroughs so they'll, they can get a, a good understanding of the, the organization and the way it operates. The audit liaisons are the link between the IPA and the rest of DLA. They will receive requests from the IPA, coordinate with team leads, and field personnel to collect and submit requested documentation. They will also coordinate questions received from the team lead to the IPA for response. The audit response team's responsibilities are to interface between the auditor's request and the government personnel. They're the, considered the liaison. So when an auditor makes a request, the audit response team will be the first one to see it and then they will send that request to the appropriate process owner for them to answer the information. The audit liaison will review the request and assign each task to the appropriate team through the team lead. From there, the team leads will review the request and assign it to the appropriate information gatherers. It's important that DLA supervisors make sure the right people are there to respond to the auditor's request for information. This would include subject matter experts, uh, process owners, and anyone else that has detailed knowledge of the processes. The audit liaisons, team leads, and information gatherers, all in collaboration, will also be responsible for assisting in answering questions to responses from the IPA, which will be coordinated through the audit liaisons. The team leads will support the planning and logistics for IPA site visits and interviews in coordination with the audit liaisons. So when the Independent Public Accounting Board comes on board and once they complete their planning steps, they're going to go to multiple sites to, confer, to perform their testing. You really want your subject matter expert to be there uh, to help that auditor understand the process because they'll be walking through it. Uh, and so they will ask very technical questions. So you, don't, you want your most seasoned individual there that could help the auditor best understand the process. Management's responsibility is to make sure that the employees are informed, they know their, SO their SOPs, and they know the policies. During site visits, other employees may be required to explain their job functions to help auditors better understand DLA's processes. The primary responsibility of DLA employees for the audit is to be able to uh, know their subjects and know where to go to get the, the documentation that is requested from. One of the main responsibilities of DLA employees during an audit is to provide evidential matter in a timely manner to the auditors. This could consist of samples and other ad hoc items. Uh, generally, the auditors would like to have these things within, within three to five business days. Delays on the audit uh, could impact the agency negatively. Uh, that's twofold. One, it could end up costing the, the agency more money, but uh, more importantly, it could negatively impact the uh, auditor's assurance. An audit is a new experience for many DLA employees, and there are a few things to keep in mind when interacting with an auditor. If you don't know the answer to the question, one, don't be nervous. It's okay. Trust me, it's all right. Uh, as a former auditor, I would rather you tell me I really don't know the answer, but just refer me to the proper person. If an employee doesn't know the answer, the first step is to go to the supervisor to receive clarification. If the supervisor does not know the answer, then they should reach out to the relevant subject matter experts to receive additional information. If they do not know who the subject matter experts are, then they need to reach out to the audit response team. Following these rules of engagement during the audit process will ensure success for your team and DLA.